Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Michelle and you know, I'm not quite set up, but I knew I could at least do this for you guys. Um, it's a one page wonder and it's so simple. It is with double sided paper, but you guys know that you can always, I've showed you, you know, ways in the past that you can kind of like make this work for you if you don't have double sided paper. Or maybe I can try and figure it out for you. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that's coming. But um, so this is with 12 by 12 paper. And I am kind of fibbing because this little piece right here is actually an add-on. It's not part of the One Page Wonder. But I wanted to give you that option. So if you don't use that, it will just be the pocket. And then you can have a top pocket or side pocket option. So um, super simple. I'm using my hip kit here because I have not been able to play with it. And I was just like so happy to mess with it. So what I'm going to do is grab a 12 by 12 paper and I forgot to trim my paper because I have my little edge right here. Um, so just a 12 by 12 paper and it's going to be very simple because we're just going to score it at um, six and six inches on each side. So I'm not gonna use the busy side because you guys are never gonna be able to see what I'm doing. So, again, um, six inches and six inches, okay? We're doing both sides. Bandit, no. My new neighborhood is full of dogs and they're literally all one after another. This is six inches again, barking with each other. So you should have just like a cross type thing right there. And, and it's okay, okay? You don't have to bark back. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut the line right up to here. So I'm going to cut it. All right, so once you do that, kind of fold in all your um, scores. So let me just kind of fold it. Just kind of folding everything up. Okay. I think I got everything. All right. So, um, what we are going to do is we're going to, so if you want your pocket on the side, you can do this this way and it's gonna be on the side. Um, if you want it on the top, you can um, do it kind of this way. Okay, so I'm gonna do a side pocket. Um, I had done the top here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, fold this down, okay? Because this is how it's gonna go. It's gonna fold down and we're gonna fold this over kind of like those really easy books but we're gonna use this piece here for the pocket so we'll kind of open it back up and grab your scoreboard and we're gonna score it at two inches because that's gonna be your pocket so just up to here so let me fold this in so it doesn't confuse you and I'm gonna show you that I'm just folding it literally right there or <laughs> scoring it right there okay I'm gonna open it back up just the way I had it so I don't confuse you so we're going to just take that back I'm gonna have this side pocket here and fold it over and then we're gonna have our little pocket right in there okay and then I'm gonna just punch my little hole right here and you're gonna have it on the side now, this is the part where I fibbed because this is the one page wonder right here. So I obviously had a little page in the front and I wanna show you that option. That is super simple. And we're basically just taking a five and three quarter paper by five and a half inches. And at the five and a half inch mark, we're gonna score it at half an inch. So here's my five and three quarter by five and a half paper. And at the five and a half inch score, so it's right there, I'm just gonna score it a half an inch right here. Just to add that little tab. Oh my gosh, I think I cut that wonky. 
Okay, and actually, I don't know if I want to be that busy. Let me see. I'm going to hold it this way. So, yeah, I think I'm going to use that. So, before you kind of glue all this down, if you're doing this, glue this down first. And you can add multiple pages. You could add another pocket, you know, kind of flipping out. Whatever you want to do, this was just a fun option. And just, you know, um, kind of when you do this, fold this down to make sure that it's lining okay because I will say when you add the paper it's not as smooth because there's no double score so when you fold this it is kind of it's not perfect like it was before you added the paper so um, but it's really not a big deal I don't mind I don't hopefully you guys don't mind either so then we have that little paper right there or um, yeah and then now you can go ahead and um, do your your glue and now glue everything down. So I did corner round mine because I like the way it looked and to break up that mess right here. So I'm just going to kind of go around here and corner around it so that I left this. Did I fold and I corner rounded this? You could even leave this open as a fun tab page if you want it to be interactive. It's up to you, or make it a pocket for like tuck ins. And then I'm going to do that. So I'm going to make mine a pocket, so I'm going to do this. You could even put like a little, um, thing there. I'm sorry, this paper is very busy um, for a one page wonder, but I didn't know which way I was going to fold it. So I actually planned on using that side, but you guys know how it goes. So um, boom, right there is your one page and an extra wonder. Cause sometimes I get these comments that are like, that wasn't a one page wonder if I add something. So just clarifying. All right, so I might have to take some of this out because I'm kind of running out of things. I just had another project, so just taking some goodies from my hip kit and making this album come to life a bit. And I love, love, love the journal cards this month, or for July. It was for July. And let me see here. What did I do here? All right. So, decorating time. All right. I'm going to add... Stickers. Uh, this one says have fun. This wasn't as big as the other one, but I do like it because it says have fun. And then I added a tab, which I'm just using my tab punch right here. So I am totally adjusting and guess what you guys, my husband is finally coming home this weekend. I'm so excited. Finally. <laughs> so I don't know what my schedule is going to be like. I do, I do, I feel like maybe I'll even get more done, but honestly, he's in such a different time zone right now. Um, I'll probably have a little bit of downtime while he's like resting and stuff. Okay. This is, I'm putting this on way too crooked. And now I'm kind of getting in the mood of crafting now that I'm in here. So that is so pretty together. I am loving this, these colors. Okay, here, don't think I have enough stickers to do that again. But I can probably use something like this. It says this way to fun. And then you could put like all the goodies in here of whatever want and then I loved the beautiful beautiful lettering on this um, I'm trying to see what's going to fit I, I like I'm trying to see what's going to contrast with it because it's so busy I want to make sure you can see it so I think the blue will show up better than the other color on here. I cannot promise it's going to be straight because <laughs> it's probably not. OK, 
Okay, that just says dream. And I'm liking that. And again, I apologize for lighting. I'm just not there yet with the lighting in here. I'm trying to figure out if I need to move my craft desk into my room because there's a lot better lighting in there. Actually, in the morning it's not bad, but... Um, and then here's this. And then I had the t I used the top pocket, but I wanted to show you the other way. And then... So this one is not going to fit in here because I went sideways. But what I can do is fold this in half. And slip something in the side so you guys can see that. And then for here, of course, I put a little journal card, but I left it open so there could be a little side pocket there for fun. Um, do I have a journal card? Let me check. I've got a mess already. That's what I have. So I have this one, and what I'm going to do is actually kind of, I think I'm going to cut it so it fits like a journal card. I feel like my scissors are not working anymore, or it's me because I haven't been crafting. Let's just blame the scissors. All right. And I just put glue on um, three sides of it, so I have a little pocket. Because I'm gonna have that little thing right here on the side. And since this was plain, I'm gonna go ahead and like add something on there. See what I have here. I like this flower. So you don't really have to have anything like a journal card. You could take your other stuff and do it. So here is the book, and hmm, let me just put something in the front for you guys. I'm not a cover type person, you know, people go really crazy with covers. I used to like to do it, but now I just like doing something really simple, and I think the inside is fun. So here is our little travel book, I guess. Um, and then you could obviously make this a lot more alive. Uh, this looks a little plain. I have my little guy coming off the bus soon, so I am trying to find some stuff. me bear with me number one because I haven't crafted in a while and two um because I guess I wasn't prepared for the this page to be plain I kind of like this but I don't know if it's gonna go well with that I like the little tag no oh no is it gonna be stuck nope I also got this sticker book. So, I definitely think it needs some wording. More wording. Oh, I kind of like that. Hmm, I wonder if I can replace it. You guys know how I love to rip my paper when I'm trying to change things I kind of like that but just because I ruined that well you guys say you like my bloopers so here you go maybe I can just put that there sure why not so here is the book, but isn't that a fun? And like I said, you could stack this up with a few things. And I've done something like that a long time ago in the past to show you uh, how to layer it up. But I love, love how they came out. And it's just a really fun, easy one page wonder. And hope you guys like it. And I'm going to try and make some more stuff. Um, my mind is super crazy right now because I'm still not settled, but um, getting there, you guys. All right. Thank you so much, you guys.